a kickstart for a new beginning. Hello PS Unions! I'm Phoebe and welcome sa ating panibagong vlog! Kamusta naman ang inyong first semester? Is it good or bad? Bago matapos ang first semester, siguraduhin na kapag online faculty evaluation na kayo. Kung paano, let's watch this vlog! Pangasinan State University trusts in providing quality education and service amidst national crisis is relentless. The university continues to render essential operations and activities for its stakeholders, especially to all students. The rapid growth of online learning has mandated the development of faculty evaluation models geared specifically toward the unique demands of the online classroom. With the foundation in the best practices of online learning, the online faculty evaluation system created by the Office of the Vice President for Academic Affairs and Support Services and Information Communication Technology Management Office of the University serves the dual main purpose of mentoring and faculty coaching. Following the guidelines on online faculty evaluation, Students from all campuses are required to evaluate objectively all the instructors in order to help the administration monitor the progress and needs for improvements of every member of the faculty. Ngayong may ideya na kayo kung ano ang online faculty evaluation, narito ang mga guidelines na dapat sundan. All students will evaluate all their subject teachers every end of the semester and the results will be used for improvement of the faculty teaching competencies, enhancement of the instructional delivery, and strengthening the management of learning. Online faculty evaluation for the first semester academic year 2020 and 2021 will be conducted during the first week of the opening of classes for the second semester. However, the online faculty evaluation will be conducted before the final examination during the succeeding semesters. The faculty evaluation form will be uploaded in the campus student portal by the ICTMO. Students are required to fill out all the fields before proceeding to the next survey. Data will be collated by the ICTMO and will be forwarded to the MIS campus coordinator who will forward the electronic copies to the data analytics and statistics and computing science centers for data analysis. Results of the evaluation will be processed by the data analytics and statistics center and will be turned over to the campus or unit. The department chairperson will conduct a post-conference based on the results of the evaluation and shall prepare a program for faculty intervention measures or enhancement program subject to the review and approval of the Vice President for Academic Affairs and Student Services upon recommendation of the College Dean and duly endorsed by the Campus Executive Director. A report will be prepared by the Campus Executive Director on the summary results of the evaluation, conducted intervention measures, and enhancement program to be submitted to the Office of the Vice President for Academic Affairs and Support Services. Lastly, the Vice President for Academic Affairs and Support Services will prepare a faculty development program based on the submitted report. The results of the evaluation shall be made as one of the critical basis upon which faculty mentoring and coaching will be anchored. Likewise, the reported strengths of faculty members will be made as model for others to adopt and emulate. Through the faculty evaluation, the university ascertains that all possible support are provided to ensure their instructional competence, teaching excellence, and dynamic response to emerging needs of the faculty and students as well. That's all for now, PS Union! Please take note that you have to evaluate your teachers every end of the semester. Don't forget to share these information to your classmates and friends. Kung hindi pa kayo nakapag-subscribe sa aming Facebook page and YouTube channel, please hit the like button para lagi kayong updated. See you on our next vlog! Ciao!